So I always knew I could draw and had an interest in how things were made from an early age. And growing up, I'd often take toys and other things apart uh, to find out how they worked inside. I think when you are a creative person and that's in your DNA, you look for ways to express that creativity. And for me, that came in many forms, writing um, and illustrating uh, with two other avenues I explored. And I think interior designers transform interior three-dimensional space, but they do more than that. They create environments that provide you with an emotional response that engages you, engages the senses, and create destinations and experiences for people. Designing a shopping mall, you need to know about the ergonomics of, of retail design, travel distances between escalators, how far human beings want to walk before they start to feel disinterested. Um, so you need some excitement, you need to be able to surprise someone and say oh, there's something here, there's an event or there is actually a way up or down in the space. When we create magic with interiors, when we create magic with materials, we're creating mood and we're creating emotion. My philosophy is definitely about creating a holistic vision uh, that has people at the centre. It's a customer experience. Uh, approach to design. As a retail specialist, I think that's essential. We're thinking about how people interact through a space, how they move through a space and what they experience. Uh, that starts with the customer journey, it starts with the three-dimensional architectural space and it goes through to materials, uh, acoustics, smells, everything can be uh, igniting the senses and that's really all part of interior design. I'm delighted that drawing by hand is still something that clients value. You know, that's the first thing I'd say. Uh, and when you sketch, you know, you give immediate visualization to your ideas. And when you're working with clients and your peers, there's no substitute for that. And clients absolutely love it. And I love doing it. So it's a great thing uh, that it still has great value and it's quick. It means that we can really realize our ideas instantly. I think the, the key things that we're seeing that are driving changes in retail are really the advent of the digital age and the new consumer values. Uh, that new consumer is the Gen Z and the Gen Ys and they are tech natives. They're born into a world where they've always had technology. And what we're seeing is that there's a drive towards customer-centric solutions. You know, in the past, brands came first and the relationship with the consumer was very different. They had a relationship with them. The brand drove the design. Fashion houses drove fashion and design brands drove product design. Now the consumer's driving it. So it's all about being tailored and bespoke. Uh, and what that's done really is reverse the entire value chain so that it's consumer behavior and consumer uh, analytics which are driving the type of product that we produce and how retailers and developers respond to that. So my goal is always to create a new solution. I always say my best design is my next design. Every project is different. No two projects are the same. And while we have design principles that we use uh, and we have knowledge that and experience that we bring to those projects, the solutions need to be different because they're tailored to that project, to that community and to our clients. And I think that's where we bring that difference at Idis Retail Interiors. Every single project that we do will look different.